And now a Waste Watch report. The next time you pay your cell phone bill, you might want to take a closer look at a charge called a universal access or service fee. It's money you pay every month so that people can have free cell phones. Well, now a new report shows that your money might have been wasted. CBS 21's Christine Frizzell has more. I have about like six in my purse now. Monique Crawford's purse is packed, but what's inside may surprise you. She's been able to get multiple cell phones for free. Each and every one of these phones work. At home, I know I have about 30 and all I'm on. Her collection is thanks to a federal program called Lifeline, funded by a charge on your cell phone bill. It's resulted in nearly 18 million people already receiving federal assistance getting free cell phones. The program was originally intended to ensure everyone has access to 911 service, but even Crawford admitted is being abused. So just how long did it take to get these phones? Five, ten minutes to get this one just now, and I walked out with this one just now. The effort may be minimal, but the price tag is substantial. Annual spending on Lifeline has nearly tripled since 2008, from $800 million to $2.2 billion last year. It's clearly not what the law was originally intended. But new details reveal a program even more troubled. But there's no question that there was a lot of waste and abuse. In this story published last week by the Wall Street Journal, findings from an FCC audit reveal stunning numbers. Roughly two million people who already received free phones could not prove they were ever eligible. When I talked to a lot of the people in the companies that were involved in the industry, everyone was expecting about 15 to 20 percent of the subscribers to be weeded out. So the fact that it was more than twice that was pretty surprising. That's about 40 percent of the recipients surveyed by the FCC. A lot of people ended up getting signed up for the program that weren't really eligible to be on it. A tally so significant, the federal agency stepped up efforts to rein in abuse shortly after that report was published. Just this week, they started sending out notices to people who received more than one phone. Perhaps the biggest problem with this program is that there were duplicate, duplicate accounts. People had multiple lifeline services from either the same company or from different companies. Including some who had up to 10 phones registered to the same addresses. It's a move Wall Street Journal reporter Spencer Ante says the FCC hopes will result in big savings. They expect that over the next three years that up to $2 billion could be saved from cutting down on waste and abuse and, and potentially fraud. Cutback supported by Congressman Tim Griffin, who introduced legislation last year to eliminate cell phones from the Lifeline program altogether. If we can't cut this, then we're in big, big trouble when it comes to cutting other wasteful spending because this is, this is easy. That bill so far has stalled. Around the country, few are optimistic that a crackdown will work. Not everybody is going to do the right thing. For some, getting free phones is simply too easy. I could go to the same van tomorrow and get the same another phone. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. Well, the FCC says it expects to issue more citations to people who abuse that program next week. A Cumberland County